Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Rivera here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School with Backyard in Richmond, video number 46. Coming to you once again from my backyard here in Swansea on a fantastic late spring morning. Birds once again uh, chirping, clear blue skies, nice warm temperatures. It's going to be an outstanding day. We start this backyard enrichment video as we do all of our backyard enrichment videos with some appreciation. Um, this week, these last yesterday and the rest of this week would have been the days we would have been traveling uh, with our eighth grade students um, to Philadelphia and Hershey Park. Uh, that got cut short uh, with the school closure, so we're a little bit sad about that, but it's reflect upon the fun times that we've had in the past and the people who have made that possible and one of those people who has traveled with us for many years on that trip is Mrs. Francisco Ninetemp. Uh, she's a reading teacher at our school, works with students in all grade levels, does a fantastic job, uh, very compassionate, very caring, builds relationships with students and always helps us out with anything that we need help with. So Mrs. Francisco Ninetemp, uh, we appreciate you today. Thank you for all you do for our students uh, and for our school. I miss traveling with you uh, this week. Uh, so yesterday, again, fantastic weather day. Uh, I was very busy doing some work, uh, interviewing uh, to fill a couple positions that we have open. Um, also had a meeting uh, with our state association later in the afternoon. Uh, but I did manage to cut the grass later in the day. Um, it was warm, so after I got done doing that, I, I jumped in the pool to cool off. Uh, it's only about 70 degrees in the pool at this point, so you can't stay in for very long. Uh, we had a nice wiffle ball game, um, and then yet another card game after dinner, which has been a nightly ritual here at our house. So for today's backyard enrichment video, Mrs. Silvera has been very helpful in finding things around the yard. She likes to spend time in the yard in the garden, and she finds lots of things for the backyard enrichment video. Um, and, and she found this one. She saw me out in the yard looking around at a butterfly. And uh, it ended up landing in our garden, and she helped me get the video for today's backyard enrichment video. Uh, so let's take a look at a very pretty butterfly. This is the Eastern Black Swallowtail Butterfly, Papilo palazinus. The Eastern Black Swallowtail Butterfly is a common visitor to open fields and farmlands, and frequently seen in urban landscapes. It can be seen from the Gulf of Mexico to southern Canada, from the Atlantic seaboard westward to Arizona, southern California, Colorado, and North Dakota. The adult wingspan range is five to six inches, with females typically larger than males. The upper surfaces of the wings show distinct differences between the sexes. The upper surface of the wings is black with two rows of yellow spots, large and bright in males and smaller and lighter in females. The area between the rows of spots on the hind wings of the females is powdery iridescent blue. The blue area in males is much less prominent. There is a conspicuous red spot with a black bullseye on the inner hind margin of the hind wings and an isolated yellow spot on the front wings. The underside of the wings of males and females are virtually identical. The front wings have two rows of pale yellow spots. Hind wings have rows of bright orange spots separated by areas of powdery blue. The black swallowtail caterpillar feeds on many different plants in the Apiaceae or carrot family, including Queen Anne's lace, celery, parsley, carrots, dill, and parsnip. The butterfly eats nectar from a variety of plants, including clover, milkweed, thistle, and phlox. These butterflies produce two generations a year. The first group of butterflies emerges between late April and early June after having overwintered in the chrysalis. They mate and then the females lay small white eggs on the underside and tops of plant leaves. The eggs hatch in three to five days. The caterpillar that emerges is black with a white band around its middle. As it grows, it develops reddish-orange spikes on its body. Later, the white band disappears and the caterpillar develops green and black bands with yellow spots. It pupates for nine to eleven days, unless it is the generation that overwinters. The second group of butterflies emerges in the late summer. The second generation mates and their eggs become the first generation the next spring. Take a good look in your yard. You may see the very interesting black swallowtail butterfly. Well, that is today's backyard enrichment video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Today is going to be a fantastic weather day, perhaps 
top 10 uh, of the year. So you want to be able to get outside, get some exercise, have some fun, see some new things, and, and see what you might be able to learn in the backyard today. We are all Cardinals. We are all in this together. I will be back with you tomorrow for the Friday edition of Backyard Enrichment. It will be number 47. Have a great day, everybody.